gang, gang, what's going on? We're going to call this here mukbang, a photo mukbang. This here is my 96 OBS that I recently gave to one of my children. This is when it was candy painted. One of the cleanest trucks in the city at the time. Wet, wet, look at it. Oh man, that truck was beautiful, man. Missed it. And I messed up the candy paint and wind up painting the back black. <laughs> she was clean, gang. All original material. This here's my very first SS that I bought. Keep in mind, my mama had brought me one too when I was 20. I had four of them. Got the Nissan Maxima seats off in there. I bought another one and swapped the front end out. So, but it was completely rusted out, so I sold that one. That car sat for years. Somebody just brought it. Here's my second SS, my other 88. Orange. She was ready, man. Brand new black roof, black visors, fresh black carpet, brand new door seals. That interior was clean, but this one had the bench interior. And I did not want the bench interior. So I took them out, gave those seats to my brother-in-law, and we eventually gonna put bucket seats off in this car. This car had an LS motor in it when I brought it. But I mean, it had an LS motor in it and uh, he took it out. I had big plans for this car, man. This car was gonna be the one. This car, was supposed to have a 6.0 board out to a stroker. It was gonna be nasty. There go the Cadillac seats in it. We primed it down, put the rims on. Scoop hood with the uh, conduction hood with the hood pins in it. Cut the floor out. I can't weld, so I use screws. It worked, don't judge me. I primed the floor, as you can see. Came back, mixed up a concoction with black rust -Oleum paint and a hardener. The floors was real hard, man. Came out nice. Laying down the sound dead, man. That came out nice as well, as you can see. Here go the, these seats. These seats come from a 99-2000 Cadillac Cotera. And as you can see, they was all gray. I dyed them black. The SS in the headrest. I did all this right here myself. Basically, everything you've seen, I've done it myself. Had the upper door panels redid in black leather. Put everything back together. It was nice. Back seats were just so comfortable. I, I just used to sit back there, man. Had the cup holders in the back seat, man. Nice, man. Very comfortable. Very presidential back there. Dashboard cap, did all this right here myself, man. See, I've done all this right here before. You know, was it a process? Yes, it was. Dash came out real nice. Yep, I had big plans for this car, man. This was gonna be the car back in the day. Yeah. This is about 2019, keep that in mind, gang. This is about 2019. Got two of them SS backed up in the yard, huh? They go my 6 0. They go my 6 0. When they had micro cracks all through it. Sold the car. Oh, that hurt my soul. I'm trying to buy it back now. That's when I found this one, the one I have now. The Mighty 87. Me and my own went up there and got it. I'm playing around with it, this prime. I'm uh, uh, playing around with it with router cans. I'm finna spread with rust -Oleum Turbo Black. It came out pretty nice. I just didn't prime it first. As you finna see right here. Look at that. It came out nice. Nice shiny black. That's a router can. Yeah, gang. I'm the Black Rain Sprayway with a router can. <laughs> Yeah, came out nice. Let's 
up? Now we on these firearms, my love. I love firearms, gang. I love them. I love them. Here's just a few of my toys. I'm showing y'all. I have a bunch of firearms. When I tell you a bunch, I mean a bunch. A whole room full of them. But I like to build my rifles. I don't buy rifles. I build them. You know, a lot of people build cars and stuff like that. I build rifles, you know? That's my passion. It, it eases me down, you know? Went through a lot of training in my day. A lot of training, you know? I'm an AK man, by the way, too. Um, I had to get off into ARs. I, I was an AK man. See me out here with my children, man. You gotta teach them how to shoot young, gang. Teach them how to shoot young. Yeah, man. Thing pretty, man. It's my Yugo SKS. I had restored it. I call this one here the Atlanta Falcon 6.8 SPC2. Very dangerous round. High powered round. Right Showing y'all what to do, guys. Showing y'all what to do. Came out nice. Look at that. I call that the Atlanta Falcon. That's uh, it look like a Nerf gun. Uh, you know, a couple of 12 gauges. I built this one here for my nephew. This is a tribute to Kobe Bryant, 300 Blackout AR pistol. Very beautiful. One of the most prettiest ones I've built to this day. Me and my brother, man. Me and my older brother, man. We love AKs and Glocks, man. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm telling y'all, that's just a few. Oh, very deadly with it, man. I'm very surgical. Oh, little seafood. I love seafood, gang. I love crab legs. I, I love, I love crab balls. Period. One of my favorite dishes. Crab oh. I can eat that every day, man. I call this here my dirty nachos. You know? Dirty nachos. Yeah. Gang, I also do uh, gardening as well. Built this raised bed, and um, y'all know I just moved, so I'm doing them again this year at the new house. You know, my, my, everything I planted came out nice, man. My corn came out, corn grew very well. I had onions, uh, what else we had? We had um, Georgia collard greens, they, they're huge. I got lemon trees, limes, all that, man. Ain't nothing like going in your backyard and just, and just picking something to eat, man. Down South Country boy, you hear me? Yeah, fresh tomatoes, you see them? Fresh. We got the banana peppers, we got the green onions, right here. Enjoy the color, look how big they are. That one leaf is bigger than my daughter's head, you see it? You know, we canned up, you know, the peppers, we pickled them. Came out real nice, the red hot chili peppers right there. This stuff right here will kill anything in your yard. Get it. I had an ant problem, but it kills snakes. Anything in your yard you don't want, get that stuff right there. Hey, I appreciate y'all for watching, gang. Peace and blessings.